it's quiet, it's clean, it's renewable, it lasts, and there's no moving parts. All right, so what makes a house a good candidate for solar? Well, let's launch the drone and let's see what this house looks like from the air. You want a good south-facing exposure of the roof. Uh, no trees, no obstructions. How the sun hits that roof. Southern facing is the best spot for solar. Then you can go west, east. I'm staring at this power pole right here. Is it possible to detach yourself from the grid and just go like this? Technically, the way most houses are done, no. Solar does by itself does not uh, uh, continue to provide uh, power to your home like a generator would. But if you couple it with a battery storage system, then it is capable of, of doing that. So in Texas, obviously, we have a lot of extreme weather, brownouts, blackouts, freezing weather, brutally hot weather. I've got a bunch of solar panels on my house. Are they reliable? The solar itself is reliable, but it's relying on the grid. As long as the grid is up, the solar will operate. What are we talking about in terms of upkeep for solar? You don't really need to hire a company to get up there and clean them. God's gonna take care of that for you when it rains. Okay, say I'm sold on this, I'm ready to go solar. What are the costs involved? Solar panels, 20,000 on up to, to start a starter system for somebody. Batteries could start anywhere from a couple thousand dollars all the way up to 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars. Microinverters, HOA approval, permitting with the city, permitting with the utility. Do you mind if I ask you how much this deal cost you? It cost almost $60,000. And do you think that's money well spent? I think it is money well spent. I think it'll pay for itself, you know, after we get these these panels paid off. We do plan on living here for a long time. Benefits of a solar co-op are we reduce barriers to going solar and we bring down on average the cost because it's a competitive bid process. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be out of league. The sun shines down on us all equally. Let's make the energy from the sun accessible for all. Where else is solar out here? At the outdoor classroom, the solar ground mount is really here to educate and entice a community that in other words would never know. This system is running to some batteries over there and when the grid goes down because we've stored power in those batteries, that system is going to be running when everybody else is down. So I encourage battery bag up, but it is a little bit more expensive. Dory, why did you drag me out here? Where are we right now? <laughs> we are not quite in the middle of a 240-acre former landfill in Sunnyside, a neighborhood of Houston, south, south of Houston Central. I mean, this place, literally underneath us, is a bunch of old garbage? Literally underneath us is a bunch of old garbage. And what do you intend to do here? The goal with the city's support and the community's support, we are planning to restore the cover. Landfill should not have trees and so we intend to restore the cover and put in a 50 megawatt solar farm. This project will become carbon neutral within year five and after that it becomes a carbon sink. So it, it replaces the need for fossil fuels to generate that energy. The energy that's developed right here is actually going to stay local. That's correct. Electrons will go to the path of least resistance. So if someone needs them right next door, they'll go right next door. What have your electric bills been like? Uh, our first bill that we got was $28. Versus what were they? Three, $400, depending on how hot it is outside. So say my solar panels are doing gangbusters. Am I actually getting a check cut to me from the electric company? So depending on the plan that you're on, there are multiple companies that offer a net metering program. Different plans offer different buybacks, if you will. So when I first went solar, my first bill was a negative $45, but then it jumped to a negative 106, negative 194, negative 306. Green Mountain mailed me a check for $142.80. When was the last time the electric company paid you? Stay up to date with our latest Solutionaries videos. Hit subscribe and leave us a comment below.